Hey everybody in the YouTube world, my name is Old School Nerd, and yes, I am back. Okay, here's the thing, and this this is fairly simple. I mean, let's let's not mince words here. Um, this one is so overdue that if I don't do it soon, I think some of y'all may actually come to my house and make me do it. So. Uh, this one gets re uh, requested as much as anything else. I mean, I get Nightwish requests, Baby Metal requests, Band Made requests. I get <clears throat> Sabaton out the ass. I hear you. There's one coming. But Devin Townsend, Deadhead at Royal Albert Hall. This one has been re asked for so many times. Let, literally, I, I did Kingdom, right? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to do Kingdom. And everyone's going to be happy with that. Nope. Within five minutes of releasing Kingdom, half the comments were, do Deadhead, do Deadhead. It's like, okay, <laughs> and it hasn't stopped. So we're going to do Deadhead. <clears throat> Devin Townsend Project, live at the Royal Albert Hall. The, the uh, link to this one will be in the description below. Thank you for coming. Please like, the, like this video, give a little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comments, suggestions, ideas. Apparently... They work. I'm, I'm doing deadhead. All right, let me move my big fat beard out of the way. And uh, let's get started on this. This is Devin Townsend, who, by the way, is really, really good. I mean, I've watched the, uh, the Kingdom a couple times already. I'm just like, mainly I, I watch Kingdom because he is really good, but I wanted to hear his voice. And he's such, he's such a smart ass. You got you to gotta appreciate it. So here we go. This is Devin Townsend Project, Deadhead Live at the Royal Albert Hall for all of you. Stop asking. Ooh. This guitar is beautiful. My favorite part is everyone knows it is you know everyone that went to the concert knows it is but it's just something about Devin he's gonna tell you by the way this song is deadhead <laughs> everyone knows <laughs> my favorite part is his, his 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 scream is so primal you just I mean let's be clear about it it is perfection It's one hell of an intro. <laughs> Other than saying love is a bitch and this is deadhead, he hasn't said anything. He's still in the intro. Only Devin. Still in the intro.
Two things. Number one, um, he can go from a crystal clear, beautiful angel to just this primal scream like that. And it's amazing. It really, truly is a skill. And he does it better than anyone I've ever seen, which is awesome. Oh, and uh, point number two, there's a Pikachu in the front row. I really like his stage setup. He has all five members of his his team. They're not a band, they're a team. And he's got each one of them showing part of them in there and it's beautiful. playing this instrumental part and the drummer's not playing so <laughs> there's no rhythm to follow so the crowd is clapping but some of them are going off beat and kind of falling off and he's like man pick a freaking tempo that's some crowd participation <laughs>
I haven't really gotten to see I haven't really gotten to see a lot of Devin Towns and stuff, and I'm sure um, it, it can be as complex as anything else. But it, it seems to me, and this, and look, this is just me. Remember, this is my second song. Okay, it just seems to me that you didn't hear this elaborate guitar solo. You didn't hear all these crazy hooks, but what you did hear was amazingly complex chording and phrasing. Both himself and the other guitarist that was playing next to him, they were <laughs> God-level power chords, like layering, and it was almost like a choir singing, but it was guitars. Does that make any sense? Um, and so even though they were just doing this, dun, 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 and it was just, dun, dun. It was not fast. It wasn't. It was deliberate. There wasn't a time. Key, there wasn't a time signature change. But the phrasing was so elaborate that if you're a music person, you're just hearing this. You just. It's all enveloping. It's like you're being dunked in some warm water of Devon. <laughs> You've been dunked in a bath of of Devon's warm bath water. But anyway, um, that ah. Oh. That's beautiful. That really is beautiful. And I know that this stuff is not everybody's cup of tea. Don't get me wrong. You, you really have to enjoy um, his voice. And you have to enjoy his, his creativity uh, to get it. It's not very um, gimmicky. It's not. It's, it's for people who really love music. Um, so I, I, do, I do a lot of stuff. Hey, I do Leo. Leo is gimmicky as hell. But he's one of my favorite people I do reactions to because he's so damn good at doing his gimmick, which is... Meddling the crap out of everybody else's music, which is awesome. But Devin uh, takes his stuff to a whole nother level. He is just, oof, wow. Okay, well, I finally did Deadhead. Happy now? Probably not. I'm probably going to get like 50,000 comments on this video going, okay, now that you've done Devin Deadhead, let's do this one. Because <laughs> I can always count on y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh, I keep saying... My name is Old School Nerd, and I am old, but you're never too old. But yeah, I was starting to get a little old hearing, can you do Deadhead? I mean, next thing you know, it'll be like, do Freebird. Oh, please don't make me do Freebird. <laughs>